Section thirty of Poems by Currer Ellis and Acton Bell by Charlotte Emily and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elizabeth Clatt. How clear she shines by Emily Bronte. How clear she shines. How quietly I lie beneath her guardian light, while heaven and earth are whispering me, To-morrow wake, but dream to-night. Yes, fancy, come, my fairy love, These throbbing temples softly kiss, And bend my lonely couch above, And bring me rest, and bring me bliss. The world is going, Dark world, adieu! Grim world, conceal thee till the day. The heart thou canst not all subdue Must still resist if thou delay. Thy love I will not, will not share. Thy hatred only wakes a smile. Thy griefs may wound, thy wrongs may tear. But, oh, thy lies shall ne'er beguile. While gazing on the stars that glow above me in that stormless sea, I long to hope that all the woe creation knows is held in thee. And this shall be my dream to-night. I'll think the heaven of glorious spheres is rolling on its course of light in endless bliss through endless years. I'll think there's not one world above, far as these straining eyes can see, where wisdom ever laughed at love, Or virtue crouched to infamy. Where, writhing neath the strokes of fate, The mangled wretch was forced to smile, To match his patience gainst her hate, His heart rebellious all the while. Where pleasure still will lead to wrong, And helpless reason worn in vain, And truth is weak and treachery strong, and joy the surest path to pain, and peace the lethargy of grief, and hope a phantom of the soul, and life a labour void and brief, and death the despot of the whole. End of section 30